Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heart of the Storm. This is episode 15 of Hotscast, your source for all things Heroes of the Storm, the hero brawler slash MOBA from Blizzard Entertainment. I am your host, Vincent, a.k.a. Rolandoon. With me, as always, are my intrepid co-hosts. First up this week, we have Kaylee, a.k.a. Mom Kerrigan's Claw Tentacle Poke Me... P- uh, cl- <laughs> I messed up my own stinking intro. Kaylee, a.k.a. Mom Kerrigan's Claw Tentacle Thingy Poked Me in the Eye, a.k.a. Nerdy Char. You know what's funny is, <laughs> and my sister already left the chat, but that's seriously the argument we used to have in the back of the car. <laughs> She's touching me! Mom! Uh, back of the car fights were always the most epic. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty accurate. I'm, I'm glad you said that one. I like it. You got it. Ping! Was that your quick uh, pun-filled Twitter post-length statement? Well, that and that I remember to unmute myself to talk, so that's always a plus. <laughs> Very good. And, of good course, we, we have Mike, a.k.a. Sergeant Hammer keeps giving me creepy flirty eyes when I heal her, a.k.a. Fimless. So uh, my cool thing is, and I already said it, but I'll say it again. I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more just to be the man who'd walk a thousand miles to fall down at Rill and Dune's door. So we should have done his head, the three of us. So you like, you could have said one and you could have said one and I could have said And then we could all have gone See, the problem is we don't need to give any more bait for sound for capping my audio. Yes, and, and putting it at the, uh, no the intro to his show. Yes. Oh, why not? Yes, I love... But he might take my soundbite now and put it in the intro to your show, but because I might. did mention you. Oh, <laughs> look at that. And look who's in the chat. I didn't even notice him. Oh, my in. goodness. Well, hello. Oh, he heard Nevik. me, I guess. Nevik, look at my new toy. It makes the bat symbol. Dude, She's man. Batman. It. She's, She's not the one wearing man. hockey pads. <laughs> I will never understand. I think you need to talk the entire Batman. time, the entire oh, like show. You need to talk like Batman. I'm Batman. 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 Because you couldn't tell somebody with sounds completely. Di- they they sound like they're not the same person when you call it this. Right. I can't tell it's you. And all you have to do is cover their eyes. <laughs> yes, cover their eyes and say. And they have that oh, yeah, bit just the mask here. Hello. That's I it. am definitely. Oh, where'd Fimless go? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Look, 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 oh, no. Nevik, look behind me. You see oh. the light? You see the bat? Look on the light? wall. It's a, it's a um, laser pointer, but it makes the bat symbol. She's Batman. <gasps> I am Batman. No, 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 no. That's old school Batman. With not only it's a developer Batman. Q&A this week, but a new hero reveal. We have a lot to talk about. So let's get into it. Mm. And hopefully I remember to put a funky bumper here i need to make new bumpers funky bumper before we jump into the news i do want to ask you guys because we don't normally talk about this although it comes up tangentially um what have uh what have you been playing what has been your go-to hero what have you been playing the most when you jump into uh into the heroes i have i just said something before we started but i have been really enjoying me the kerrigan the fish Ooh, Kerrigan. Oh, uh, yeah, body, is she beheaded? Body, body here. Uh, here is Diablo Kerrigan. had a little run in. With, she had a little run in with Diablo, and yeah, it didn't work come out. Uh, but uh, here we can put her on top of Diablo. There we go. Kerrigan. Hey. Um, and Kerrigan I is usually awesome. do not like melee uh, characters, but she. The the thing that's nice is she's not. She's also not squishy. Because She's not her squishy. special thing gives her a yes. shield when she does damage. So yes. she can jump into everything and smack away and she's protected a little bit. She doesn't get just like slaughtered. Right. So, I mean, I just did a game and I died like twice, which is like amazing for me. Right. Uh, in the whole game. And I had like 27 kills or something like that. So The big thing for Kerrigan um, is constant damage. You have to make yep. sure you're always doing damage to keep that buff up. Uh, it's yep. kind of like, uh, like Vala, the demon hunter. In that, you know, you it, with the demon hunter. If you're not can say, bless you. Background Who's that? That, was. <laughs> that, was, that was the background. Uh, okay, <laughs> ignore the background. Um, that was the bat signal. You know, if you stop attacking with Vala, then you drop your hatred, and then your attacks slow down. So you have to have to keep yep. that continuous uptick in damage. 
I do like Kerrigan's better than Vala's, though, because mm -hmm. when you initiate a fight with Vala, she feels very slow and very weak. And I, I don't like that. I don't know. At first, At I was really beginning. excited about Vala. Once you get to the end game, I think she gets really powerful. Like She all does. The talents, depends on the talent you get. She yes. can just mow through everybody. But she's awesome. Beginning, she does feel like she's like, ding, 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 yes. ding, ding. Yes. <laughs> You're like, and not doing anything. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. How about you, Kaylee? Who who have you been enjoying lately? I'm still stuck on Stitches. I actually bought him, so I have him. Like, stuck, on stitches, stitches. Is stuck on Stitches, Frank. Stitches stuck on her. <laughs> well, you know, it's not it's good if your of... Stitches are stuck on you. <laughs> no, actually, you want to get Stitches as far away no. from you as possible. <laughs> I don't. It's kind of funny because usually classes like that, I'm not drawn to. I'm not drawn to them in WoW. I'm not drawn to them in League of Legends, and. For whatever reason, he just clicks with me, and I really love his gameplay, and I can't get enough of it. Well, then you're probably excited about the doble hook that's coming. Ooh, Ooh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Some of those <laughs> things are crazy. Need those that, that, looks oh my God. Sick. that looks sick. I, I have to turn yourself that. into a, uh, a priest that can pull your people Oh, away. yeah, <laughs> you can actually, yes. Um, what were we calling that? Holy grip? Yeah. Is some, that, yeah, is that a death that, grip? Whatever the holy grip? Yeah. Holy. There's other people yeah. use the whole that whole thing. It's it's great for trolling your friends and pulling. It's them well, it's great things. for when your main tank is going in to initiate the uh, boss pull, and then the yeah, priest away. holy grips the the tank and pulls them right back, <laughs> right back out. <laughs> oh yes, <Damn> it. <laughs> many, many a wipe it. occurred from that. <laughs> yeah. Or hey, jump off this cliff! I'll totally pull you. You mm -hmm. won't die. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'll totally I get you. No problem. Oh no, elevator boss. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I, I think if you tallied the number of deaths in that raid, I think the elevator boss wreaked more havoc upon my guild than any uh, other. <laughs> easily. Elevator boss. And my guild mm. was, I, I love them. Shatrath, too. Not good Shatrath, at Shatrath, elevator boss. Well, oh, see, uh, that's, that's the best part about being a rogue is that you survive yes, the fall. You don't die. Nope. Yeah. You, get, you immediately get the, uh, the achievement. That's it. Yes, that was the perfect spot the elevator. For the road. Yeah, I accidentally did Diablo that, and I was like, "Ooh, was... achievement!" Yes. Sorry, Rogues Arthas are... was picking my nose. Rogues are awesome. Oh, that doesn't sound now, pleasant. Uh, Frostmourne is not a good nose picker. <laughs> maybe a good teeth picker. Use his toothpick. I have been playing a metric crap ton of Uther. I Uther. loves me some I Uther. Heard you love Uther. Uther is my homeboy. Um, I. I Uther to me him feels healing or damage or well both or neither it's funny you say that I spec pure damage I spec pure ret power dealing pure ret paladin <laughs> but I am Johnny on the spot with the heels and I've gotten to the point now and I never picked this talent up before I actually don't remember the name of it it's the holy radiance talent that um the Holy Radiance gets more powerful the more targets it hits. And I never used to pick that one up because in that same tier is... What was the other one I used to pick up? Hold on, I got to see this one. I think it was the one for um, turning your uh, Hand of Light into being able to cast on enemies. Oh, your yeah. Q. Yeah. Yes. Let me see. Heroes. Where's my homeboy? Where is Uther? There. there he is coming soon what do you mean oh that's right the heroes website doesn't have all the heroes information listed yet uh, let's see yeah, i don't know what it is anyway but that's the town i would always go for in that tier i'm pretty sure it was that one so i started taking the holy radiance one that would do uh increase in power the more targets it hit i have gotten very good at kind of positioning myself in the lane like i'll jump back behind where i can get one maybe even two heals even three and also get damaged with that same holy radiance I'll, i'm really getting good at lining up that w so i am constantly you know in team fights keeping my w and q up for my teammates and <laughs> the wow healer in me which i was a holy paladin at least from wrath of liching on in vanilla and TBC, I was a priest. Anyway, different story. Um, the healer in me would love to see healing meter because I want to know that I'm at the top of the healing meter because I am healing like crazy throughout every fight, even though I'm specking for retribution almost entirely. But 
No, entirely. No, they're rarely. talking about that doing more stats. So. Yeah. Oh, I'm 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 a stat stat nerd. So you would think I'd be a bigger baseball fan, being a stat nerd. But think. yeah, it's all, it's, it's all that's ninety percent of baseball is the stats, right? And oh, I like the is so good. Ariel Arthas there. Um, so yeah, Uther, I've been playing like crazy. Uh, definitely my main at this point. Probably my main always. I don't know if I ever switch mains. Kerrigan, I love. I have been playing Kerrigan quite a bit. Um, mixing in a little Malfurion here and there. I do enjoy the Malfurion. A um, little bit more Nova I've been playing lately as well. But I'm actually four matches... Four? Yeah, four. As of this morning, I'm four matches from getting my third uh, tin on Arthas. Mm, nice. Uh, not Arthas. Uther. Yeah. Ufa. Yes. Nice. Looking forward to that. I haven't Gotta been be. playing as much as I should be. but You've been playing a lot of Diablo. Yeah, well, I finished... I got all of my characters to level 70, so... I've been playing less of it now. Right. So, I actually did a bounty but, earlier today, and it went very well. Yeah. I picked up two uh, two blacksmith plans. The uh, demon hide set parts. and I have lots of parts to use for them, but I don't have the plans. <laughs> See, I have the plans, but not the parts. <laughs> there you go. We should get. Yeah, yeah we should trade. If, I, yeah, I guess it works. I don't think you're allowed to do. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's uh, what else. Yeah, I guess that was that's pretty much it. I've been playing a lot of Uther, a lot, a lot of Uther. Uh oh, Kaylee's yawning. It's ridiculous. No, I've been trying not to drink coffee because my doctor yelled at me for how much caffeine I drink. Like she is weaning herself off. W oh my god, like Halloween. The past, <laughs> the past two days that I've been trying to be good is is killing me. It's like my body's like, why? It will. I want better. caffeine. It will get better. Because I did the same thing. I actually, I'm to the point now where if I have more than like one cup of tea, and tea's a quarter of the caffeine of coffee, if I have more than that in a day, like I'm bugging out. Like I'm like oh, shaky and irritable and my stomach hurts. Whereas before I was consuming, well, put it this way, I was consuming Mountain Dew by the gallon, pretty much. I mean, retarded quantities of Mountain Dew, just yeah, I mean, when I was in college, my first two years of college, oh my gosh, I was drinking Mountain Dew at breakfast, lunch, well, breakfast, second breakfast, lunch, second lunch. <laughs> I ate a lot. He was a hobbit. I don't really, think he I, knows about I, second breakfast. Yeah, I don't think he knows about second breakfast. <laughs> Elevensies, luncheon, afternoon tea. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I think drinking that much Mountain Dew is a gamer rite of passage. If you don't do it, you're just not legit. Yeah, yeah. Or jolt. Or Joel. No, I never got into oh, the Joel. I was older, more, I was more older, the, yeah. I was more the Mountain Dew. I miss Surge. Drink, drink balls. Surge. Why did they take balls. Surge away? I like balls. I like balls. I wish I had a balls right now. Later stuff though. Yeah, balls is only in the last like five, six, Joel seven was years, I think. My generation. I found balls on Think Geek. That was the first place I found balls. Mm -hmm. Love that site. I found a shirt that I need to get from Think Geek. It says no. <laughs> no. Black shirt says no. Yeah. Love like it. Grumpy Cat no. Or just that just is no, just in white letters, black shirt, white letters, no, no, Tans off. Enough. Nice. Yeah, that's me. No. All right, let's move on to some news. We do have a lot to talk about, and it is getting late. Uh, first up, we have got Vayflare's Blue Post covering uh, some new changes in the game regarding AFKers, uh, people who are just generally hostile and, as we like to call them, douchebags, and uh, what they're going to be doing to them. Uh, Kaylee, you're the one who found this post, so do you want to uh, kick it off? Sure. Do you want me to read the whole thing or just... Yeah, go ahead. It's not that long. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Vayfler said, We're aware that some players are choosing to repeatedly leave or go AFK in games rather than actively participate in Battlegrounds, and this certainly isn't the spirit of gameplay that we want to encourage in Heroes, a.k.a. they're talking about chicken sandwiches. Mm-hmm. So... Them be some chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Access to the technical alpha of Heroes of the Storm is a privilege. I agree. And especially with so many players eager to access the Nexus and test their metal on the field of battle, it's unfortunate that some players in the Alpha have resorted to underhanded tactics for personal gain. Strong words. Yes. So, but it's not surprising they have. It's unfortunate, but not surprising. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, It's yeah. unfortunate that it is not surprising. Yes, indeed. Yes. But good news. 
Going forward, we will be banning Heroes game accounts for players who have been found to be repeatedly AFKing, leaving games, or determined to be toxic in Heroes of the Storm. And as we do with all Blizzard games, we will continue to monitor the game and take action as needed. Um, basically just keeps going on to say, you know, we want to have a spirit of camaraderie and gameplay, so they're going to keep updating the community with updates as they come along. Uh, remember to be kind and constructive to your fellow players. And for those already in the Tech Alpha, we thank you for your continued feedback and passion for Heroes of the Storm. For those of you not yet in the Alpha, we're continuing to invite more players into the Nexus on a regular basis, so we hope to see you soon. Guess who got in the Tech Alpha? Who? Sabina and Hydra. Yay! Yay! Oh, yeah, Both I did know that, and I haven't seen either. Well, actually, I need to add Hydra, them. Uh, Sabina actually yeah. was on. She actually was just on uh, yesterday. Awesome. She got to level five. Very nice. I need to add her. I was in a match randomly with Accuzad, formerly of Overly Dramatic News, with Accuzad. Yeah. I nice. tweeted at him after after the match. I said, that was a fun uh, fun match. He goes, yeah, that was good. I said, well, I guess it goes without saying that any match you win is fun, but, you know, it was still a good match. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this is good because all too often we have AFKers who just sit in the base and soak up XP and ruin it for everybody because Heroes does have a cool system that if you DC, your hero will, uh, depending on how close they are to the altar, they will either run back or they will uh, hearthstone back. And once they do that, they become AI. I have to admit, the AI is pretty good. It's actually pretty strong. It's surprisingly strong, than it especially for an yeah. alpha. What's that? Better than it could be. Oh, yeah. That's because they built the yeah. co-op and the practice modes, so they mm -hmm. were working on the AI for that. And you can also control the AI. If you ping the AI, it will follow you. If you throw up mm -hmm. an assist, it will come and, and assist you, which is pretty good. I mean, it's actually it works it's, in it's, it's pretty strong. Um, it is enough that you can still win if you have somebody DC. It's not easy, but you can. However, if you have somebody AFK, they're just sitting there and ruining everybody's time, and it sucks. So I'm glad yes. to see them do this. Also, unfortunately, there are some people that have gotten in that I wish hadn't. Um, I don't want to name names, but uh, KM Bo, I'm talking to you, you unbelievable douche. So <laughs> hopefully that guy gets uh, gets banned because he was toxic beyond measure. Uh, really just ruined everybody's day. Um, it's just really bad. So if I had the band stick in my hand, I would have beat him thoroughly over the head with it and enjoyed every second of it. So. Well, next time, can you tell me how you really feel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I need to work on that holding back thing and, and you know, <laughs> not really expressing my anger. Well, you know, it, there's a there's a joke in League of Legends that we talk about all the time. It's, uh, you know, if you can make the other team turn on each other, you'll win the game. Oh, it's my like, gosh. It's yeah. sad that people people legitimately do that just to, like, it, it's like a mind game. Mm -hmm. And Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. That and is... that's a lot of people are asking for the slash all chat so that they can play that mind game. Mm -hmm. So they can, I don't, I like how it is now. I, I don't really know. Like I, I love all chat. Yeah. <laughs> I love making stupid comments in all chat. It's like my favorite thing. All chat, you know what? If it's in that first 30 second period before this, the match starts, I'm cool with that. And if it's in like the last, you know, 10 seconds so you can congratulate the other team, cool with that. But well, that's I don't like how Counter Strike Go is. Yeah, I mean, I that's true. I don't see why that would be a big deal. No. Yeah, that would be good. Um, Generally, in hot in Heroes, you can't even notice people talking in the chat because it goes away so fast and you can't scroll It around. goes away far too fast, <laughs> and it is way too small. Um, that's actually something I, I didn't know that the developer Q&A was going to be pre-recorded, so I sent in a question that was about seven hours before the Q&A, but obviously a day or so after it was recorded. But uh, one thing I did ask is if they could scale up the font specifically for us old guys who have difficulty reading text. It's that tiny. It's really, really you guys, tiny. You guys are ancient. It's, it's Yeesh. ridiculous. I know. I actually um, I need to decide which pair of Warby Parker glasses I'm going to be ordering because I finally went to the ophthalmologist. So I just need to pick, pick the style and get them sent. You should get matching yes. nerdy char glasses. They're actually going to look a lot like that. 
and then we could yeah they really will <laughs> all like 10 styles that i tried on look a lot like that there's one left that's about to go uh, get discontinued that i have to go into philadelphia to try on because there's a local try on store and in a, about a week and a half uh, sean and i are going to be going to a really cool charity dinner and actually sitting with a player from the union, the Philadelphia Union, the soccer team that I'm a, in the supporter club for. And it's only a couple blocks from this store. So I'm going to check out the store and, and try on the glasses there. And hopefully it's not too late because it is cool. a style that's being retired soon. But I think it might be the one for me. Um, anyway, glasses aside, <laughs> let's head over to discussion on the Q&A. This was Q&A number five, the developer Q&A. Um, we had... Oh, shoot. I didn't write down the names in Mike, you missed it because you got in late. That's fine. I know it was um, uh, we had a UI designer. We had a uh, from Team One. We had the map and hero designer. And then we had I forget the other guy, what he did specifically. I don't know. Shoot. The t two of the guys had never been on before. The one guy had been on before. I, I missed their Hold names on. as well. Matt, Kent. And Nicholas. Nicholas, right? Yeah, okay. Yep, all great guys. It was a really good interview. Um, they were very relaxed, very cool. That guy did have a very good beard for anybody who watched the video. Um, Kevin pointed out his Zangrief? beard. Yes, Zangrief? that that yes, that was a very <laughs> epic beard. Um, very, very cool. Oh. And one of the first things they talked about, if not the first thing, was the new hero, Murky. Murky! I had a little mm. Murky something. Ah. Ah. I can't yeah, do Murky. Actually, I do have a Murky. Where did he go? Dude, I had some Murky somewhere. I have so, the little uh, plushy ones. Oh, the plushy so cute. And that's the point. Murky is cute. And this is Murky yeah. Hero Week. So we've got Vay Flare po uh, posting that on the Heroes of the Storm boards. It is Murky Week. We've got Murky as uh, the upcoming hero to Heroes of the Storm. We don't know a whole lot about Murky yet. Uh, they haven't gone into... A terrible amount of detail in terms of um his his right no yeah Her? I, think, I think it's his wait it it lays eggs so it has to be a i don't know it's a murloc know. or it spawns eggs murlocs <laughs> murlocs are asexual all we know is they run in packs and kill you when you're a lobby they <laughs> they decimate you when you're a lobby <laughs> yes so murky is going to be a very 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 unique hero he is going to he she asexual murky is going to play much differently than than any other and i like the two styles that they called uh the murky fim you want to oh no fim's leaving um they <laughs> <laughs> kayla do you want to talk about the two styles they described um it's in there in the notes in the notes do you yeah. know about wily coyote murky yes there's wily coyote murky and then I think the, they called it backdoor murky. Backdoor murky. Wait, I wait, think wait. is the other one they called it. Ah, we're we're looking at Mike's uh, notes that he took during the thing because I was on the road and <laughs> I think Kayla, you were working at the time, right? Yep. You can see it live, yeah. And Mike always. Saw it. That's cool. Um, so yeah, we have Wiley Coyote Murky, who is basically um, just this this kind of style where you just continuously die and you do very little damage and you're just kind of bouncing back and forth. They, they called it a, like a corpse. Oh, Mike's back. You actually, yeah. <laughs> you get this live and, and I, I rewatched it, but I was actually, um, well, it wasn't really live. They were, Oh, you watched the replay. No, they oh. recorded it ahead of time and played it on oh, Twitch. Yes. On Twitch. It wasn't Fair live enough. to begin with. Fair enough. Good point. Um, so the two styles of, of uh, murky they describe were the wily coyote murky yeah and what was the other one the was it backdoor murky they called it yeah something like that okay they were i don't know it was it was very they basically they, they were like a couple way they there's a puffer fish that you can use yes. to like destroy um things and that is you can put that down and that will like get the uh you know it does a lot of damage when it blows up right so and that's the, uh, but the they can be like really the quick, door. right? Yeah, where you just pop those down and it blows up. But that can blow up um, turrets and stuff. Really yeah, hard. it does quadruple damage to turrets, uh, which is a cool mechanic. But the thing, it, it takes a long time. The perfect fish is a, a real long cast time. Actually, do they have the cast time? Is it? 
I don't know. The day was long. They mentioned long time. like three it's seconds long. or something. Say long. How long? It yeah. Took like three seconds. Yeah. I, I guess it's not listed yet. But yeah, it takes like three seconds for the puffer fish to expand. And when it fully expands is when it explodes. It doesn't do a lot of damage to heroes. It's not really a hero damage one. A little bit. damage, not a lot. Not a lot. But it does quadruple the damage to turrets. But yep. the enemy heroes can combat this because they can actually kill the puffer fish before it fully expands, which it's is like cool because and stuff from Sergeant Hammer. Right, right. But what's cool is that most enemies W, like the Witch Doctor, which is the zombie mm. wall, uh, Tassadar, which is the bubble, um, Malfurion is uh, nature grasp, life grasp, weed grasp, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Grass. Depends on what you're, sm- depends on it what just you're grass? smoking. No, is it I'm just, nature's grass. grass. It was a pun. Nature's grass. Nature's oh, grass. grass. Ah, I like that. That's good. I like that. Um, <laughs> you know, the whole point is to get away from that target reticule. Yeah. Whereas now. Unless you want to go in and attack it. Yeah. Right. Now you're Especially sure. if you're going after your uh, your base with it. Right. Right. So that's a, that's a pretty cool play style. I like that. Yeah. Um, he's got the self bubble also, which is cool. The like self bubble was cool. Himself. So it's good. Like if some say, um, oh, you're team getting fight. targeted. That was it. They said Wiley yeah. Coyote, Murky, and yeah. Team Fight Murky. Wiley team Coyote fight. is yeah. right. The cool thing with the the bubble, say you have a Nova on you, and Nova's about to double tap you or triple, triple tap you or the thingy, right? You can soak that at, with the bubble, right? And then it's on cooldown. Right. So now you don't have you to worry about cooldown. it. You can kill her. You kill the cooldown, now you go after her. Uh, mm-hmm. And he also has that slime slow down and yes. dot, which is kind right. of cute. Right. And that's part of the team fight, the team fight uh, murky. And only yes. one of the guys on the couch actually liked the team fight aspect. He said uh, yeah. it's just something in his DNA. He likes to watch people die, <laughs> which yeah. is kind of funny. The other guys enjoyed the Wiley Coyote one where they just – you know, single lane push, taking down turrets and 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 whatnot. Yep. Um, so that's pretty cool. There's two very distinct ways to play the murky. You're not going to be doing a whole lot of damage. You're not going to be. His auto attack w- does one damage. One damage. His auto attack does one damage. They said he has a fish, and he smacks you with the fish. One damage. Yes. One damage. Worth, Until I would level twenty. When he there's a talent, a he has a level twenty talent. Yes. Which his storm changes ability. his. His yeah, his changes his fish into a shark, and that does a decent amount of damage once he gets right. to that point. Right. But his damage doesn't scale, the, the no. auto attack like everybody else's. It's one, one point damage. damage the whole time. Yes. So, I really liked the March of the Murlocs. I thought that was awesome. The March the of the Murlocs is very ability. cool. Oh yeah, um, yep, that's just one heroic. Just a ton of sh- the Murlocs just run, attack everything, and on their way, and they do. There's got to be a song to go with that. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I mean, it can't be. It can't be a flight of the Valkyries. That just doesn't yeah. work. No, it's got to be more like. It could be. It should be the um the one from. Uh, go ahead. Stripes. The theme song from Stripes. <laughs> that would be awesome. That is the there March you. of the Murlocs. Although, you know, like in game, I have the murky pet, and he'll randomly just put on a top hat and cane and do the WB frog dance. Da, da, like da, that, da, 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 that da, has got da, to be da, in this da, game, da, or I will riot. Da, 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 da. So you want that as a skin, huh? Yes, a skin or yes. a slash dance oh, or yes. something. We need the, uh, the WB, WB murky. WB murky? <laughs> I don't know if they could call or it the, that. Though. No, it would be, it would be the... Um, <laughs> QW. What, was, what was the guy's Murky. name? W E. What, what, what was no? What was this frog's name? The frog was. Oh um. Oh. Um, what's his name? Uh, Phineas J. Frog. No. No. Hold on. W B. Some name. Michigan J. Oh, Michigan, Michigan J. J. I knew it was a something something frog. I knew frog. it was something so, something frog. <laughs> no, no, but I knew it was like something middle initial something T know, something J. Thing. Michigan J. Frog. Yes. That was good. So. Kaylee, that was a good pull. Nice. <laughs> you know me. I am the queen of Google. Over the queen here. of Google. Yes, your your search have, your search foo is strong. I have to uh, mute Google my mic so that I can type on my horribly loud keyboard <laughs> over here. Yes, <laughs> mute it, then type, and then unmute to say what you want to say. But yes, yep. they need the Michigan Michigan J uh, skin. Yes. And speaking of skin, they already announced the Grunty skin, and it is awesome. Oh yeah, it is awesome. Of course. Yes. 
which is good because and and Kaylee pointed this out before we uh, pressed go on the recording. The regular standard murky looks a little, I don't know, interesting. Looks okay. It looks like something from Men in Black. I that is a great comparison. I was trying to figure out what it looked like. Doesn't it remind you from of one of the aliens from Men in Black? Yes, could be it's, a little bit. It doesn't have that. The one with six arms that dances. Cute factor. No. Like it does, wow. No, the standard skin is not me. cute. It but is. I agree with you. The grunty skin is adorable. Grunty murky so cute. It should be this. He is really cute. He's so cute. He's got the like the innocent eyes. Like I won't hurt you, teehee. Exactly. And even the concept <laughs> art, the original concept art is cute with the I yeah. won't hurt you eyes. But the the hero skin, you know, the the standard is. I'm going to slap you with this fish until you die. That's the look it has in its eyes. And I don't know. It's sure. a little he creepy. He is. Oh, my God. Did you read the quote? <laughs> Underwater, no one can hear you scream. It's yes. true. <laughs> it's true. Yes. <laughs> it's great. I just read that. Yeah. Apparently, where does it say this? Uh, that's under. Oh, quotes and facts on and... the uh, Murky Hero Week post. Murky doesn't oh, yeah. like tartar sauce, apparently. Yes. Uh, it says at one point, I forget what article it's in, that Murky cannot speak English, but Murky can write in English. Apparently he speaks Nurglish. Nurglish, yes. Uh, <laughs> he's, he, he writes at one point, I'm the gift that keeps on giving. So, uh, referencing himself as chlamydia. Or no, herpes. So. Is it herpes that's the gift that keeps on giving? That's one of the two. I forget which. That is yeah. amazing. Make sure, folks, make sure you look at the show notes because there is going to be a ridiculous amount of stuff in there. I'm going to have all kinds of links and videos and pictures and whatnot. So definitely look at the show notes. This is probably going to be, no, definitely going to be the longest show note episode ever. So, read, the, read the quotes and facts. They're hilarious. Yes, read the quotes and facts. They are good. Uh, I, love you. I even have a couple screenshots I took from the Q&A that are in the notes there. Yeah, I saw that. I saw those in the in there. Uh, the one thing we missed in terms of talking about Mur Murky uh, is his other ultimate. Uh, Femi mentioned in March of the Murlocs. Yes. This is the Octo Grab, uh, where you actually spawn an octopus that grabs an uh, enemy, holds them in place. But again, your fish does one damage. So you kind of want to use it strategically where you have another <laughs> hero with you to actually do some damage besides yes. Uno. Uno does not work. Or you could do it. Oh, no, you can't, don't get both. I was going to say you could do it and then spawn the March of the Murloc, but you don't get both of them, so it nope. doesn't matter. <laughs> no, that, that's if you reach level 40 in a match. Yeah. <laughs> of course, if you reach level 40 in a match, something went very something wrong. Is broken. <laughs> yeah. You had five chicken exactly. sandwiches AFK on yes, each team. Oh. Five, yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> or four chicken sandwiches on each team, and there's only one hero on either team just <laughs> battling it out. Um Actually, I was playing a match with uh, the guys from the Nexus, and um, four, four of the enemies actually intentionally DC'd. The load time was ridiculous. Four of them DC'd, and the last guy stayed in. And so it was five of us against one guy and four AI. And one of the guys who was with us, he wasn't one of the ones from the Nexus podcast. He was uh, in, in Convert to Raid. He said that this was a versus co-op match yeah that's awesome and it took me a second to figure out what he was talking about I'm like well they're always versus co-op because you're and then i thought about it, I'm like oh okay now i get it <laughs> yeah i hope you beat the four ais um they were pretty strong that we did uh, the, okay. the last the last guy he he only played for about five seven minutes maybe and then he he just dc'd out yeah I don't so we got him. the we got the insta win uh, in addition to Murky, we heard about huge, massive talent changes. Um, they're going to be continuing the updates. The first ones were music to my ears because Mirrodin is, at the moment, the only warrior I own because, at the moment, he's the only warrior I actually enjoy playing. But he definitely needed some change, the first of which was dead on his mana costs were way too high. Yes, they were. Way too high. I mean, you were oom with Murden within the first 40 seconds of, of any kind of fight. May, if you were lucky, you could last 40 seconds. So I, I'm glad that they noticed that and that they're changing that. Um, Thunderclap talent, 
that is very cool. Uh, lowers the attack speed of your opponents. That's big. You can get that at level one. And you can get that at level one, yeah. Uh, Thunder, Thunderclap heal is very good because Mirrodin does not have a self-heal in combat. Mirrodin's, um, what do they call that? Trait is to actually heal out of combat. Well, sometimes it's not that easy to get out of combat. So there is uh, the Thunderclap heal, which is cool. Um, oh, there Kaylee, is a talent I'm... that you can trigger it, I think, during combat. Is I think there? there's a talent later that you can actually trigger. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, that's true. But that's in later game. Yeah, that's okay, true. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. Um, the next one that they talked about was Stitches. And Kaylee, you're a big Stitches player, obviously. That's your go-to. That's your homeboy. So why don't you go over the uh, Stitches changes? Stitches and I are like this. No, like that? <laughs> like, um, like, I like wouldn't, don't butter. think I'd want to be like, like that. With like these, these stitches and yeah, he's kind like, of a, like a chicken in its sandwich? Kind of well... <laughs> <laughs> well, he he hooks you, and then you have no choice but to be next. That's to him. it. Or he can um, eat you, and then you're pretty much. There is so much innuendo going on there. Oh my like god! The pancake nipples. You're hooking heroes. You're eating heroes. I mean, there's just innuendo out the wazoo with with stitches. <laughs> <laughs> just All the right. way it is. So, um, <laughs> his slam ability. Uh, with pulverize stuns hit by slam 0.5 seconds. I'm reading your shorthand and I'm yes. trying to yeah. interpret it. The so stun is going to stay. His slam ability at now, now stuns. If you take pulverize, it's now everybody that you hit by your slam stuns them for half a second. Right. Everyone, not just the person you're. You're actually yes. using the person to that is stun AoE. Really awesome. Yes. That and is awesome. They increase the damage considerably too. Yes. Um, oh, so you can upgrade your hook to now grab allies to pull them away from danger. Right. That's We're gonna have to come up with a better name than Holy. Um, well, but they called it Helping rip. Hand, so. It's... But no, Helping Hand. Helping not. Hook. Not helping. It should be Helping Hook. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> helping Hook. Holy Hook. When you combine that, that with the next one, it's actually pretty cool. That's right. Yeah, this is a great name. Shish Kebab. Shish Kebab, great name. Hit two targets with your hook. Epic. That's Love a little You know, one of the things they actually I... showed, I think, was them hitting a enemy and a ally with the hook, with oh. the Shish Kebab, and getting oh, both of them. I didn't notice that. Yeah, I think they showed that oh, in the thing. Shoot. and Because both of them came toward him when they showed it. So I'm thinking I that, that it hooked both of them and pulled them, but it was an enemy and an ally. So if you have both of those talents, I bet that's what you you could do. That why not? Oh, that's epic! I mean, it shouldn't just pick, legit. right? It should that's just pull awesome. too. That's so awesome. So that's kind of cool. Although I could see it being a problem with that hook. The one thing about having the helping hand one is if you were trying to go for an enemy well, that's on the other side ally. of your guy, you would pull yeah. your guy instead of the enemy because you that have would to be, be the first one hit. You have to be Johnny on the spot. You with need the... line of sight. <laughs> well. I think it's also it's not is it the first is it the first thing it hits or is it first when it, it gets hits. fully extended? No, uh, first no. thing it hits. So if it's going toward your guy and the enemy's on the other side of him, then it would hit your guy, pull him, not interesting. The enemy. I wonder if it would be smart to give it a toggle ability where you could toggle helping versus or maybe it would be two hurting. it should be two different <laughs> buttons probably. Yeah, well, because you know, with a MOBA, you have Q W E R, so I don't know what well, they, not, they would not have to throw in, to a one. Not in heroes, they add additional letters. One, two, <laughs> all over. <laughs> oh yeah, well, D. You know, yeah. You can get yeah. so many talents where like this is a shield, and this is add. You know, activate yeah. this to do this, and you get D and S and A and one and two. Yeah. And they have buttons well, that's all over true. I guess I guess they could do it. That I'm not good at hitting my one. For it. Every time I, I reach always for the forget one. any of those or D. There's some that you get a D like by default. D, I'm actually and good with. D, I never I'm remember fine. using it. F, like I'm the Innervate. On innervate is D. I just yep. forget it. You guys need a Z board like I have. This thing is amazing. Z board. I haven't everything, even thought about a Z board in years. Everything you need is right here on your hand. It is so Z, compact I, and amazing. Leaving myself. It's not made for lefties. Sorry. I'm well, not lefty. Yeah. Sorry. It's made for. I'm lefty. I think they might have a left-handed version. Lefty. Mike, uh, I don't know. That's okay. I like my I like my keyboard. Well, I just forget right. to use it because because it's it's not standard. True. Well, oh, that's epic. 
But I need, I want, I like it, I love it, I want more of it, make it hurt, Drill Sergeant, make it hurt. <laughs> okay, Can, and then the last he, one. Is he a sponsor of uh, Heroes? Of the... no, no. <laughs> yeah, know. why not? Maybe, I don't know. Let's well, get a Z board. Steel Series, maybe, is? I don't know, because mine's a Steel Series, but whatever. Anyway. Steel Series doesn't return any emails. I've tried oh. many times. But anyways, okay. So, and then Stitch's other um, talent that they talked about was Devour. You get a permanent health regen for the rest of the game. That's kind of cool. Me see yeah. more. When you, when you need somebody, so all you, of a sudden you get a per per second health regen forever. Right. So just sure. devour everyone constantly. Yes, all oh, the yes. things. Devour all the eat eat more people. Ish. <laughs> Be a glutton. And I know, Mike, you you're a big fan of the Sergeant Hammer. So why don't you cover this one? A big fan of the hammer. I big like fan the, of the hammer. hammer. I'm a big fan of the hammer. She she's my my bud. Uh, so they they there was an issue, and I agree with this, that everybody, everybody else, their cue is ah, Diablo is about to eat my face. Uh, everybody yes. else's cue is something that you're gonna hit a lot. You're gonna use it a lot. It's a yes. main talent. You're gonna be bashing that cue every so often, whatever. Yeah, not so much for Sergeant Hammer. It puts you in siege mode. Really annoying because yes. I hit it all the time and oh. Uh, it's not what I wanted. Now I'm stuck right. in. Oh, I gotta get out of siege mode. So they were really awesome, and they swapped the Q and W. So now Q is the mines. Um, so maybe I'll actually use them more because that was the other thing is I always forget to use the mines because they are W. So you know. Mm -hmm. um, so that's awesome because you know accidentally in siege mode all the time. Now it's E. Um, they have a lot of new talents for Sergeant Hammer coming up of course none of this is live right now i actually played today so i know nothing of this is live. no it didn't it didn't um, update yeah it does look like custom games are back though so no um, i think if you go all the way to the creation like you, can, oh, you can't get to it oh, okay now it doesn't you tell you it's go, not enabled anymore nope you have to go all the way to the creation and then it triggers the yeah, error okay um so so um many of those are focused around the siege mode um, they have this is a cool one graduating range is one they talked about so the longer you are in siege mode the farther the range your range gets and it can get up to five more which is pretty crazy so like you're going after turrets you could like sit somewhere and wait do, 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 do. now you're in range to destroy the turrets and you're way far away from the turret so that's pretty awesome um, if you can com you combo that with that hover talent and now you can not only get this huge range you can move slowly but you can move so that's pretty awesome so you don't have to come out of siege mode and back into siege mode to uh, move and lose that that buff so that's cool and then another one they were talking about where um, the mines do knockback too so not only do they blow up but they blow people backward which is pretty cool so um, yes generally I mean there wasn't as much things they were talking about but they did say there were a lot of stuff and um I can't wait to check out the changes. They did say that there's a lot more to to a lot um, a lot more yes. heroes. Uh, they just couldn't talk about all of them, but they said stay tuned to the patch notes. Uh, one yeah, they, they they did mention Illidan. Them. Illidan's getting a lot of changes. Yeah, they talked about that later. It's later in my notes. Is oh, is it? But uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, but they is. said at least half the heroes have some change. And yes. The next release will probably be the rest of them. But Illidan is down here somewhere. Yeah. Odin's big one is they wanted him to feel more um, kind of nimble and agile. And he did feel slow, I have to admit. He did. Yeah. You always felt like you were kind of crawling with, yeah. with Odin. And uh, I, I didn't like that, especially as an assassin. You, know, you want to feel yeah. fast as an assassin. So I'm glad that they're up They wanted to that. make him feel like Legolas. Like Legolas from, in the... uh, from, from Smaug. From Desolation of Smaug. 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 Yes. Yeah, never go love that. No. I think he and I did that for about ten minutes on a heroically random oh, right after that came out. Smoog. Um, you say it some other way. Well, I have to take I have to take a quick second to love on Blizzard because when I read this line, at least half heroes have some change, and next release the rest of them. Like that just made me think like they're listening to everything that we're telling them in this tech alpha, and they're like wanting this to really be. Like the best game ever because everyone's so thrilled about it and we're all like sitting here going okay how can we make this better what would make this more fun and they're listening and they're making those changes so like thank you blizzard because i really 
want this game to be like the best game ever. Yay! Yes. Blizzard is doing a wonderful job of listening. They, they always the do that. One. They really do. Yay! There you go. That's better than my Kermit. <laughs> Because <laughs> that is Kermit. So random. <laughs> it really is Kermit. And it really is I Kermit. I could play the It's a Trap, but... Is that Frank Oz? <laughs> it's a Frank Oz do Kermit? Well, no, it was originally... Uh, what's oh, no, it was... It was no, Henson. Henson, mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. All Henson. Okay. Yeah. It's still Henson. Right. It's just the other Henson. Well, no, Frank Oz did a lot of the original characters, though. He did He did Piggy. Oh, he did Piggy. But uh, Piggy and Fozzie. I Fozzie he did uh, Fozzie. No, yeah, no, he Fozzie, did Fozzie is... Did he do Fozzie? Because Fozzie think sounds so. very much like uh, Kermit. Walker, walker, walker. Um, but yes, um, Blizzard yeah. always does a very good job of listening, um, and they are doing that again with this. You know, people that were worried that this was going to be a you know throwaway game or a hobby side project, it's not. They are fully invested in this game, and it's awesome to see that because I, I'll just speak for myself here. I don't want to speak for you guys, but I am hooked. I love every Stitches second. Stitches got you, huh? I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Stitch has got me. Um, I'm hooked. I mean, I just, I'm literally in my in my dreams. I am playing Heroes. Like, well, I saw you played in the morning this morning. Yes, I did at six thirty. I woke up and my back hurt so bad I couldn't sleep anymore. And uh, I did very well, actually. Um, what did I have? Kaylee, you favored it. Sweet, I forget. I had like twenty two takedowns, one death. Yeah, it was a legit game. Turned in thirty-seven coins on Black Arts Bay with Uther. Yeah, did very well. But like, literally, I'm I'm having dreams about heroes and laning like and, and whatnot. Um, I never dreamed of Tetris. Had a lot of dreams about Ultima Online back in the day. Uh, a lot of dreams about Ultima Online, Shadowbane, and World of Warcraft. Those are my three big dream games. But those are my three games that I logged. Oh gosh hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of hours into yep. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds oh my gosh i can't even imagine how many i broke the wing off my kerrigan again um no. then, yeah. they just come off they just come i think off. i'm gonna super glue there the we go little... i might actually super glue it back in yes that's a yeah. good point make it stick um so yes you right. love on blizzard as yeah i i am i am a consummate blizzard Fanboy, ultra fan, whatever you want to call me, I absolutely love that company. Ah. That's a little creepy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that is a little creepy. I didn't know the head popped off. <laughs> she really is kind of top heavy. I wow, say. she is extraordinarily <laughs> top heavy. Yeah, like little tiny body, big head, little right. tiny body, big head. <laughs> Phenomenal cosmic powers. Exactly. I was just going there and I couldn't materialize the line. In my head. Okay, you know that we're starting to really gel as a podcast when we begin to finish each other's thoughts yes. and sentences. It's creepy. Especially the random, <laughs> random, space. random pop. Yeah. Random, yes. Disney quotes. Huge cosmic powers. Yes. All right. Next up in okay, the what else? notes and in the Q and A is a huge one for me because, uh, as a lot of people will know from back in the day in Twisted Nether, I am a huge UI guy. I love UI. I am a UI snob. Uh, I had. <laughs> Not your eye. Not my, you, not as my user eye. Interface. you don't like my eye? Aww. I literally, and folks <laughs> on my raid team will corroborate this, I would spend hours, hours a day tweaking my UI and, and wow. Just hours. In the middle of a raid, I was hitting slash grid and, and re what my mic's saying? Repositioning my unit frames and my, uh, you know, my deadly boss mods and uh, just. Yes, I love user interface stuff, and um, the fact that they're changing it so dramatically is awesome. I do like the changes. It looks very StarCraft. They really did a lot of StarCraftian kind of tweaks to it, and I love that. I love that oh, I they're like that word StarCraftian. StarCraftian. It's you like, like Lovecraftian. It's like love Lovecraftian. Yeah, love it's StarCraftian. Yeah, Lovecraftian. which is pretty much the opposite. Of Starcraft, of of Lovecraft, actually, I don't think you could get more of a polar opposite of Lovecraft than Starcraft, but still keeping. Oh no, it... they do have some tentacles. Well, yeah, there's a lot of tentacle it's... porn in both. I mean, love, yeah, Lovecraft's all tentacles. Stuff. Yeah, he is tentacle man. Uh, love the changes that they're making. I love that little um, 
the circle underneath the character, underneath the hero. Oh, need that. Need it. Yeah, that, that is, is cool. different awesome than the rest. Change. So I know who yeah. I am because it's always but my problem. Is I like, who am I? Which is mine? The color <laughs> was different enough for me. Now I'm I'm a little bit red blue colorblind. I don't know about you guys. A little bit. I'm not real bad, but a little bit. The red for the enemy was to me the way I saw it was almost a little mm -hmm. bit orange, and the hero yeah, was, was like gold. It, was it yeah. wasn't quite different enough. I would love to see like your hero be gold, like gold, an image. and your teammates be blue, and your enemies be red, like red, 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 like unmistakable red. Yeah. So you've got well, teammates you, I blue. I put the screenshot in there of that. That's further down there, the rings. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the rings the look good. Don't there. get me wrong. And I'd because yeah. you can actually see. I mean, your your hero and and your enemy hero. That red and gold is not. It even has a little thing about where you're pointing. Did you notice that, that too? Like yes. there's a little arrow it, in the front, so yes. you can see which way you're for facing. And that very is Starcraft. Huge. Yes, and that will be huge with the positional and directional talents, specifically Illidan, who's got mm -hmm. that charge. And I can't tell you how many times I've charged in the wrong direction. It has happened. You know, I mean, it's it's very easy to not be able to place where you're facing, especially in a team battle. You know, well, that's what I always have is a problem of like just even where I am, like which one of these are mine? Like I'm yeah. watching all these people wandering around. I'm trying to get out of the way. And I'm moving this way and I'm really not going that way because my thing's up here. and I'm moving that way and like, oh, wait, that's not me. Right. <laughs> especially when there's two of you on the field, like, yes, the team has a Kerrigan or yes. And you're or like, if oh, look, there I am. wait, the... no, that's not me. Abathur yes. does the clone, yes. Or what exactly. I've seen actually in one match, there were two Novas, one on either team, and one had an a Abathur, and Abathur. he cloned there three Novas. So that well, there were six Novas <laughs> because of the decoys, or at least five Novas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, it Lots was ridiculous. Novas. It was absolutely Novas, Novas just, everywhere. It was pandemonium. Hello, Talther. I just noticed Talther. Um, yes, in colorblind mode. I actually, I think there's colorblind mode in Heroes. Not I yet. think, yeah, maybe not yet. They have it in WoW, and I think it's it. in StarCraft. I think. I don't know, check. I don't know. I mean, I've never. I don't necessarily need colorblind mode because I'm not like ultra colorblind. But at the moment, the hero and enemy one is. It's a little close. I would love to see it be a drastic difference. So that was very very cool. Um, the changes that they showed in the UI, the mini map looks great. Oh yeah, I'm so happy about the mini map. Yes. Can we just say like that needed to happen? Yeah, love, 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 love the mini map. Love it. I still would like to see a little bit bigger scale though on pretty much everything, because it's actually really difficult pinging. Nice the to have a UI scale in general that you can do. I know you yeah. asked that question for the Q and A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they'll address it later. Choosing custom colors would be great, Talther. And there is going to be some customization. I mean, you know, we keep, or we, I mean, we don't talk about it a lot, but they are going to open up the map editor specifically at some point. So we'll what do see you what think the, of the, like the, every, like everything being hex based? I know it's not like a big change, but they like, they're pushing, pointing it out even more in the new UI changes. Uh, like if you look at the image I put in the notes, like everything has that hex look around oh like, oh oh i see what you're saying i didn't know what you meant at first not hex based on the ground but right i i like that i actually used a um i used a, a ui skin in wow to change all of my character uh, or all of my um i've seen that abilities Onyx. to yeah and then a thing over sorry the mm -hmm. my cat is trying to <laughs> hello cat <laughs> i'm trying Come to prevent to that us. from happening what is your cat's name is it bruce wayne how about the uh, the fim and, fim uh, I'm cat man. Sorry. before before anyone judges me, I did not name her. It was her name when I got her from the pound, and she was over a year old, so I didn't figure it was right to change her name. But it's Tinkerbell. <laughs> oh, and Tinkerbell's kind of cute. I call her Tinky. Tinky? Mm -hmm. That is cute. Um, cool. So yes. yeah, the, the, the talent selection thing is really nice. I like the changes they made for that. Yes, they did. Yeah. yeah, I like that a lot. Um, yeah, the talent is, is huge. The change on that. I know Adam would be happy with that. Adam from the Nexus. He uh, he was always saying that he would misclick on things. So uh, for the talents, and you have control. Yeah. Quick, quick. Uh, choose the control. Uh, yes, absolutely. There are certain heroes that I you know have to read through each one, and then my homeboy Uther. I mean, I can just 
click, click. I mean, I know right where it is. I don't even have to think about it. So that's cool that they have that. I for, like somebody but. asked the question about looking at the talents prior to the game match starting, and they also interpreted that as being something about picking talents before the game started. And I would love to have, you know, the, there's I think Dota 2 has a feature where you can build, do a, a build, right? You can save a build right and have that be your guide or, and then at every level it would you have uh, the highlight yeah. that one yeah. so if you know well, i want to try building this or i have a bunch of them where i could set these up and then during the game i can go oh i need to switch to this build and mm -hmm. then it would just tell you okay here's what you want to do next not pick it for you but highlight it yes because i want you to be able to make a change if you need to and you don't if you time, need to but, absolutely but in terms of like if i get if i get to my heroics and i know i always pick the ultralisk or whatever, I have that as the default, but then I could say, oh, well, really, I'd rather have this other one uh, right. instead. So I always use the um, time that it takes me to like run, you know, is it, it tends to be for whatever reason that I always get my level up like when I'm at base dead. You're going so, somewhere. <laughs> right. so I use, I use the time running back to where I want to be on my mount to choose my, like read through and choose my talents. Right. I mean, this okay. last game, it happened in the middle of almost every time I was in a fight, I would get a talent. So yeah, that, I couldn't do anything about it right oh. away. So right. I was basically like going, uh, looking over there like, um, I don't know. But generally, I know what I want to take with Kerrigan anyway. So it was just one of those, well, let me see if I want to take anything different, try something different. And the, mm -hmm. usually the answer was no. But, you know, it's one of those. I mean, the thing about League is that generally it's you know you can pick from your your talents you, you have the, your main things right you so you pick from your attacks you're you're leveling up your your different attacks so you kind of know what those are already and you just decide do i want to level that one up or this you know what is my order of that um the the bigger thing in in league was always the, you know the items but you're back at base doing that you're not necessarily out and about uh picking up items although in dota 2 you are and you can get them to bring them to you um but in this case, it always seems to be like, you know, you level up at the most inconvenient time and then you don't get to kind of pick your talent until you have the time. So I think if once you get when I think that control picking is really necessary for those higher level of play, because you can't lose, you know, 10, 20 seconds of being able to have a talent and and do on that level. Like you have to be picking your talent immediately when it comes up so that you I have that, that 10, 20 seconds of having that talent, especially if you're in the middle of a fight, because that could turn the tide on a fight. If you pick up something that all of a sudden is this huge thing, especially like 10, you hit 10 before the other team hits 10 and you are neck and neck and you are guys are in a team. Oh, fight you right got to pick hit it right 10, away. You win. Absolutely. You pick it, you hit it, right. you know, right away. You take advantage of that because they're going to get it anytime and you need to take advantage of it while you can, while you're in that fight. So if you don't pick it quick and then use it, you've now lost that advantage, and that's a huge thing. And I see when you when we get to that more competitive level, you're really going to see that where people are, you know, these teams are going to be neck and neck all the time. And if you can't get those talents out quick and use them quick, that's going to be a problem. Correct. Very good. Very good pointers. Yes, absolutely. Um, they talked about right. Arthas and Tyrael getting a big redesign, which is awesome because Tyrael, I was probably the most excited to play. Uh, Tyrael is actually who I played at BlizzCon. Every time I sat down to play Heroes, I played Tyrael and he Cause lost his luster. Because he's Tyrael. Yeah, exactly. But he lost his luster for me. I, I just, I couldn't find it. Ugh, nice. I wish I had that. Um, I was actually just looking at the Funko Pop online. Um, but he kind of lost the luster for me and I'm glad to see that they're changing him. Um, Millennium Falcon. Oh, gotcha. Nice. <laughs> I was like, what are you pointing at? Uh, <laughs> so uh, they're changing up Tyrael's abilities, they're changing up Arthas's abilities, and I like the fact they don't feel like they, they were living up to the character. Like, that's the coolest part. They're not just changing them because they're not balanced or whatnot. They're changing them because they don't live up to the essence of these beloved or even hated, I guess, in the terms of Arthas, these characters. And that's awesome that that's how they're going about it. That's so cool. Because uh, these guys are huge in the lore. And uh, it's cool to see that they're they're really trying to do the best they can for them. Um, with the Arthas, they're talking about embracing the Death Knight. And um, 
it, it, it's funny that Mirrodin, Arthas, and Tyrael were three of the ones they talked about specifically, and all three of them are warriors among all. Oh, and Stitches they talked about as well. So basically, the only warrior they didn't talk about was Diablo, which Talther is pointing out that they need to fix as well. Um, but the warriors were, were hurting, so it's cool to see that they're doing that. Um, just moving through this real quick, big overhaul in the top level of Haunted Mines. They're overhauling that, top level being the actual ground level, uh, mines being the, the lower level. Uh, they're adding watchtowers. Awesome. I love that. And also Cursed Hollow, they're changing. They're reducing that 50% health, or, or actually eliminating the 50% health reduction on the towers during the curse. And that's big because Cursed Hollow can be a huge it's snowball. A way, yeah, it's a way yeah. too big... Um... It was too difficult. Too difficult, yeah, absolutely. They're not fi firing at you. That's enough. You know, it's yeah. You don't need them to be a fifty percent health for too. you to just go and just completely demolish. You could decimate them during yeah. the thing. Yeah, it did make the, and, the uh, fast, but it also made it very easy to lose the matches well, it when it should have. It, see, the thing that I, I don't know, the the special features on the map. I agree they should be powerful. I think though that there should be a choice and a way to make a choice of whether you should go for them or not. And there should be a, it should be viable. There should be a way to do it where you don't have to go for them. Like, what, was Correct. it us that did it? Or I played a game with somebody. No, it was um, it was our stream, but none of you guys were there because it was the at the end of it. It was with uh, Ro and uh, Adam. And mm -hmm. we were in the um, underground one. Um, uh, mines, one of mines. Mines, yeah. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, we decided that they went down to the mines. We went down to the mines at first, and we're like, "No, it, forget it." We came up and we just pushed, and we had it was the two other guys were pushing, and then we ended up dying, and then the other guys, the two guys that were with us, pushed and won, um, because hmm. they were all underground, and they finally came back out like just as they were killing the the, the nexus, so the palace, or whatever it's called, the palace. Right. Nice. The palace. Um, so th that made it a viable decision to make that at that point. And I think right. that if it's too powerful a buff or debuff, then you no longer have that choice. You have to go for it every time. If you, and if you don't go for it, you're going to get screwed. Now, you know, in that particular one, you should be able to say, you know what, I'm not going to go for that. We're going to go for the mercenaries instead. While they're going for those, we're going to go pick up a mercenary camp, and that's going to be a, a, a good way to do it. And if we pick up a mercenary camp every time then that might be a good strategy if we have the buff for mercenaries or whatever. But there needs to be some kind of way to to make a decision as opposed to it being like, you have to. Yeah, right. I agree. Totally. Mm -hmm. Agreed. And I hope they're doing that. I like that they're making changes to the maps. Did you hear the, the, there's one other thing they talked about with maps? And I don't know where it is in here, but oh, it was a, I think it was a question. It was one of the questions. Right. They are working on more maps now. They are awesome. already working more maps in different settings. You will, I don't know if they're different settings right now, but they were, they're going definitely to be Starcraft planets. Um, awesome. Uh, that is which awesome. will be awesome. awesome. Uh, and other things. And cause I mean, I like that they use like this one setting and like these different parts of the one setting, but I almost would have liked, I mean, it's alpha. So, but I think when they release it, they need to have different settings. It needs to be, you know, a StarCraft or a science fiction. It doesn't have to be StarCraft. I don't even care if it's StarCraft. It just has to be science fiction. You know, what? they have to have the yeah. science fiction space one or, or something like that. They should have the, the, they have the one they have now. I think they should have one more Diablo-esque in terms of kind of more of a ripped apart like hell mm -hmm. look or something like that. You know, they need to have those kind of worlds too. And they can have other worlds. They can have whatever they want. And that's the beauty of it. And I think that that is really going to make you feel like you're this in this nexus area and that has all these. Because right now you feel like you're not in this nexus. You're just in this area that has these four different or five different maps. Right. And it's four different maps. So, mm -hmm. but no, they're they said cool. they're, they're fun. Yeah. But they're awesome. I think that's really going to make it make it really feel like even more differentiated from these other. Well, things right. Having these they already places. have four times the amount of maps of League and Dota. Well, because League and Dota, the f five, five maps. They have the one same. map. Let's be yeah. let's be honest. They have it's one map. Only people only ever play one. They only ever play one because the other ones suck. <laughs> because the other ones. No, suck. the 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 one the one no, the the Aram no. is fun. Aram sucks. Aram's yeah, fun. Aram's fun. Aram sucks. 
Can I just say, like, Abraham is fun for Dominion one match. Sucks. I miss Earth. Oh, Dominion I wouldn't do more than one. Please bring back Earth. Oh my gosh. Earth. <laughs> it was the April Fool's joke. Yeah, now. I know that was cute. Yeah. It was amazing. Yes, it was crazy. Yes. Yeah, it was nuts. Aram sucks. Dominion sucks. Twisted Tree Line sucks. You liked Dom oh, Twisted Tree Line does suck, but you liked Dominion for a while. You were playing Dominion all the yeah, time. Yeah, well, I you know what, Dominion was Infinite okay. Crisis I should say is so. like mainly Dominion. Dominion is okay. Dominion is okay. Yeah. Um, we are going ridiculously long, <laughs> yeah. which is fine, okay. but it's Let's getting late. Um, <laughs> Anything else on the Q and A? Um, the questions yeah, were okay. The I questions mean, were okay. Yeah. We'll have links to all this in the show notes. And you really should watch the video. It's a 33 minute yeah. video and they've got lots of footage. You should definitely watch that link again, links in the show notes. Um, they did not post it to their YouTube channel yet. So at the moment, the only place as of right now, the recording, we record Wednesday night. So right now it is Wednesday, uh, May 21st. They have not yet posted the video to the YouTube channel. It's still just on their Twitch channel. It. Right, so you have to go to their Twitch channel to be able to see it at the moment, but they will post it over there, I'm sure. They're buying Twitch, so it's going to be one of the same soon. The YouTube is rumored to be buying Twitch. Oh, yes. it's coming. The, um, <laughs> yeah. Rumor. The other, one of the things they did do, remember we were talking about how we hope that they are going to um, do clans or guild, you know, guilds, clans, yes. whatever? Yes. They said, yes, absolutely, definitely, awesome. positively, there will be clans. There will be uh, a hot they are actually there is a bunch yes absolutely there will be working on they're working on a ton of new social stuff a lot some of it's coming in the next release in this patch um, with uh, better social and party systems and things like that that are coming now and then they're going to be going crazy on the social stuff that is stuff they've left out completely for this that they realize that they know their chat sucks they know it's not really there so um, that's going to be huge, and the clan stuff's going to be awesome. And um, see, I think they should do something like they did for Diablo and have clans and communities, where like you can join one clan, but you can join multiple communities. Yes. And that would be nice because then, or even more so than Diablo, because I think there's a limit in Diablo of how many communities you can join. I think you should be able to like Steam join as many communities as you want, right? And just be part of that, so you can use that to find players to play with. Because that's mm -hmm. their whole big thing, right? You want to find players. It's more social even than Diablo is. Right. So um, I think that would be big. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kind of clan um, versus clan fights. Yes, that'd be fun. Hotscast versus Nexus. <laughs> um, <laughs> definitely check the show notes. So I'm going to have links to uh, everything on there. There's uh, another, uh, another article called Designer Insight, Clearing the Murky Waters. A lot of uh, more in-depth talk on uh, Murky, obviously. Uh, there is a very cool it's Dustin Browder. Week, so. It is Murky Week. Dustin Browder had a, a, a quote article, quote post, on uh, Joystick on WoW Insider. And we'll uh, post a link to that as well. Um, we were going to do a Heroes 101, but you know what? We're running so long, we're just going to skip that for this week. We'll put it in next week's show. Uh, it wasn't going to be a hero spotlight anyway because we had already talked so much about Murky. Um, we we're going to talk about changing talents based on the map, what talent choices you make, and that's pretty At some big. point we wanted to talk about um, uh, comp. Uh, uh, team, team comp. comp. Yep. Yeah, we'll do that as well. That'll be an upcoming one. Um, I wanted to, before we before we shut it down for the night, talk about our friends over at the Nexus Podcast. They've got two pretty big things that they're doing. Um, first of all, I just want to point out, I think had we known Adam at BlizzCon, we probably would be doing a podcast together instead of two separate podcasts. Because let's face it, I mean, we're, such, we're so close with those guys. I mean... It, we're, it's almost like a sister podcast type situation um, that, you know, you don't have to have loyalty to one or the other. Listen to both of us because we're both great. Easily the two best heroes podcasts on earth right now. So Well, and, and Adam <laughs> and I are, are going to co-host And Adam and I, yes, that's right. So that'll be, you know, the there marriage. There you go. That's <laughs> it. I really do. Honestly, like I think. joining I think, the clans through marriage? That's the, right. Yes. Yeah, right. there it is. There it is. The, the Marnie and uh, Capula. Nerdy with, with, yeah. with uh, Oh, random. okay. 
You you went with the uh, <laughs> right with, with the uh, Shakespearean uh, the connection. Capulets I, and the Montes. Yeah. Unfortunately, that doesn't I was going end with well. The Game of Thrones. I don't one. know yeah. whether that's really the one you want to do. That didn't well, end well. It is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well. Third love. So I thought it was. This is true. The Capulets and the Montes <laughs> didn't true. really end very well for either of the star-crossed oh. lovers. <laughs> no, it did not. No. He sent me the um, the show opener, and it is amazing. <gasps> awesome. And I'm so excited. Awesome blossom. Nice. <laughs> My cat is excited too, apparently. Apparently. So, uh, yeah, the Nexus is doing two pretty cool things. The first uh, that I want to talk about is they're doing what they're calling the Nexus Ultimate Showdown. This is season one, Battle in the Storm. It's kind of like a uh, kind of like a fantasy bracket system for, for your hero battle. Um, they have it hosted on Rivalcast Media's site, and I will post a link to that in the show notes. And you can vote on who would win in these fights. Um, the elimination voting is going on right now. They've got it broken down into Azeroth, Caprulu Sector, and Sanctuary, and the Nexus. Mm-hmm. So um, it's pretty cool how the battles are, are are set up in there. You got Illidan Storm Rage, Storm Rage versus Sonia, Velen versus Belial, uh, Lorthamar mm-hmm. Theron versus Arcturus Minxed. Uh, a lot of these are not current heroes. You will notice. In Heroes of the Storm, but very well could be. Abathur versus Karen Karen Bloodhoof. Um, So, yeah, this is pretty cool. So, go over to that site, check it out, vote. Uh, I want to get them as much much data as possible. Also, they have uh, a a Patreon set up for the show. And this is actually something I was was talking to Adam about this that I was planning on doing for the show as well, uh, specifically because Mike is covering the costs of hosting entirely out of his own pocket. So I want to help him out there. Um, but they have their Patreon set up, so go uh, help out those guys. And what they did is, uh, as a reward for uh, being a $2 a month, I believe it's $2 a month uh, sponsor, they have a Mumble server set up. And you get access to the Mumble server. And they are going to be very carefully cultivating a, a very uh, friendly environment there. They're not going to allow anybody in there that's being... Uh, well, a douchebag, as we were talking about earlier, uh, and so that would be their uh, the reward for the two dollar a month, and that that's pretty cool. I like how they have that set up. Um, I was bouncing a couple ideas in my own head. One of which, when we get our Patreon going at some point, I was thinking that if we get, say, yeah, like twenty twenty five dollars a month in Patreon sponsorage, I would start doing a. Um, and every other week, kind of a little solo mini cast in between, like on the weeks that we do our game stream. That way you've got an audio podcast to listen to every single week, as well as our game streaming night. So I thought maybe that'd be a cool incentive. But uh, you know, we'll talk about it off air and, and you know, bounce it around between us. But definitely check out the Nexus, you know, the two things, their Patreon that's going on and their uh, battle bracket. And uh, support those guys because they're awesome. We love them. And... Uh, yeah, we are the two best heroes podcast uh, going right now. So support Definitely. us both. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you guys support us, I'll send you a cupcake in the mail. But I can't promise that when it gets to you, it'll be edible. How about that? Probably won't. But that's okay. <laughs> send you a picture of a cupcake. In email. I'll just like put it in a padded envelope. And how about a, it. How about a, you can send them a picture of a cupcake in email. You can like make it, take a picture of it. You know, you that's go. your cupcake. And then you can take a video of you eating it and then go, hey, and spray it, it. Spray so with some good. cupcake yeah, uh, perfume it was good. from Claire's. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it smells there like cupcake. Go. Or you yeah. could just get like a block of uh, of uh, dry ice and like hollow out the center and put the put nice. the cupcake in there and oh, yeah. cap it with a It would cost more dry to ice. send it. Then. It would cost more to send, yeah, right. That would be amazing. That would be like a $50 <laughs> cupcake to send. One lucky contributor <laughs> yeah, gets the right. dry ice cupcake. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what would that do to a cup? Well, if, uh, oh, here, actually, you know what? Speaking of that, if anybody is interested, uh, I have a beta key for Hex. The, uh, oh, the, the cryptozoic MMO cryptozoic the thing. one that's I have currently a beta being key. sued heavily. Yes, the one that's being sued by yes. Wizards of the Coast. But I have a beta key for it. Uh, I already I, I was with Kickstarter, so I was awesome. given yeah, I was given a beta key. So if nice. anybody is interested in the first uh, person that sends me something somehow that says they want it, we'll get it. So email the show hotscast at gmail dot com. Oh, there you go. Email Quickly! The show. Oh my god! Yes. Oh my god! Do it quick. And then you'll get it. Yeah, because otherwise, by the time you do it and by the time we give it to you, it will go into open beta. 
But that's how it works. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. So better do it quick or it's going to be an open beta before you get a chance. There you go. All right. Let's move this into the wrap up. Okay. All you. You can follow the show on Twitter at Hotscast. I am at Rillandoon. Kaylee is at NerdyChar. And Mike is at Fimless. Head to the show's homepage at Hotscast.com for links to our Facebook, Google+, YouTube pages, show notes, videos, blog posts, and more. You can email the show at Hotscast at gmail.com. Let us know what you think. Ask us questions. Submit your own guest blog posts for the guest post for the blog. It's right in front of me, and I still mess it up. Uh, yes, do all that. I in fact, too, don't worry about it. Uh, Adam is uh, possibly got Batman. I'm Batman. Uh, Adam is talking about possibly uh, writing articles for uh, the, the blog because they have switched um, companies, media companies. They're no longer with BlizzPro. Now they're over at Catalyst, so he doesn't really have a platform for the blog posts. So he asked if he could put those on uh, Hotscast, and I said, absolutely. Love to have it over there. I actually offered to host their site on my hosting. Oh, he did, so. oh there you go. He found nice. Catalyst anyway, but that's fine. Right. Um, so, yeah, I don't care if it's, you know, it's not like it's we're doing so much, you know, uh, media, you know, stuff that it's a real network. <laughs> it's <laughs> just a group of websites that are all separated. So right. I don't really care if we, you know, so. Yeah, of course. I was being and nice. hot, hot Guest is a production of the Twisted Nether Network. <laughs> Which here to be a loosely yeah. grouped, loosely grouped of shows yeah. who happen to be related to me in some way. Right. <laughs> Whose main show is the Twist Another Blogcast, the World of Work. Who will be World... six years old this week? Six years. I know. I cannot Yay! believe I'm not going to be able a to week make from the show today ish. With six twenty seven will be six years. That's from awesome. Our first episode. Yeah. That, that is great. awesome. Yeah, I'm going to try to call it to Skype in, but like I said, I'll be in the land that data connection forgot. So. Well, you can, if you want, you can just call it, like do a, I mean, you do it at segment anyway, if you're going to do one. But you Oh, no, 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 you know, it. I'm absolutely going to do something. No, 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 Video I'll do something audio. special. Yes. You could call and snore on the thing or something. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> well, who would do something I don't know like anybody that? who would do that. No, I have no idea. Or, or, somebody, or, somebody... you, or you could call, somebody could call and sing like some random Irish song or something who would do something like that i don't know who would do that either i don't know <laughs> it's just so i think weird. it was somebody in australia must be nev it must be nev nev I think yeah, Nev's yeah, yeah he does nev. have a lot of time while he's driving his truck around all over he does have a lot of time while he's driving uh, his truck complain and and twitter about this is how true. horrible uh, about horrible the traffic <laughs> is and post pictures of traffic <laughs> yes oh look specifically traffic. in san francisco yes yeah. yes it's bad <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry to distract That's you. Right. <laughs> derailed the closing. I love totally it. Derail different. everything. <laughs> just completely derailed. It, it's late. It's like it's after 1130. It's late. Hotscast is a production of the Twisted Nether Network, whose main show is the Twisted Nether Blogcast, the World of Warcraft podcast, where you can hear Fimless and Hydra interviewing amazing bloggers, podcasters, YouTubers from the awesome WoW community. That can be found at twistednether.net. You can hear my epically tangential, game-fueled geek-out show called Heroically Random, co-hosted by the aforementioned complainer Nevik of the Shattered Soulstone podcast Smog. at heroicallyrandom.com. Uh, Smack talk. Watch Kaylee's Twitter feed closely because it sounds like they are this close, this close to launching Charred Hearts with Adam where they will be the Dr. Drews, I should say, <laughs> of Geeks Finding Love by Digital Means, Nerd Dev, with her co-host Adam at Of Geek of Random. Next Wednesday night will be our game streaming night, so feel free to either watch us play Heroes Live on our Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash hoscast, or join in. If you're in the alpha, contact us and we'll exchange battle tags. We can get you into the matches. You can find this show, Twist Another Blogcast, Heroically Random, and soon chart hearts on iTunes, Stitcher, and any other podcast streaming app that uses RSS feeds. All of those shows have their RSS feeds posted on the website. So check them out. Want to help us out? Leave us a review on either iTunes or Stitcher, and we'll read your name out on the show. That helps others find the show easier and makes the community grow and become that much better. So until next time, send us an email. 
And until next time. Did you remove good night. that under there? What? Yeah. No. It's up there. It's up at the top. The See? Uh, you can email the show, hotscast at gmail.com. Oh, uh, you got it. Yes. Right, right after Facebook, Google Plus, YouTube, all the social networking. Until right. next time, folks. Good Long night. Time ago. And good gaming. Good night, it wasn't. Bye, guys. Right. Bye. Peace.